So we want to continue with our discussion on the practice question. We started um, with uh, Smith PLC last week. We saw about that. So we want to look at the B aspect of that question. And this one is the same thing about tax planning. And uh, you are a tax expert. So let's go to the requirements of the question. It says, compute the projected tax payable on the above and state where management is likely to cite the entity and why. And why. Then B as II says, what other two factors apart from what has been identified in I above may indicate citing a manufacturing business in a regional capital, in a regional capital. So let's come back to the question. So here you are a tax consultant and the company has come to you, they have two options. Either to invest in a regional capital like Kumase or in a district capital like Konongo. So you are going to be uh, calculating. <laughs> like where? <laughs> Konongo. <laughs> Why this one do you visualize me on it? Okay, you pronounce it. <laughs> what is it? You don't know. Me too, I don't know. <laughs> so you need to advise the company on whether they should go. So we now regional capital, what is the tax rate for the regional capital? 18.25 percent. For, for 75 for regional capital and district capital 12.5. Mm -hmm. so 12.5, yes. 12.5. 12 so this is going to guide us in the calculation of what? The tax. So let's go through the question. The information below is an extract of projected financial performance of YZ Limited, a manufacturing company that intends to go into operation with a basis period from January to December. Management is contemplating operating in either Kumasi or Konongo, but the results are expected to be the same irrespective of the location. The following projected results from January to December year one are worth analyzing. So we are giving revenue 3 million, cost 1,000, 1 1.2 million, giving us a gross profit of 1.8, expenses of 1 million, and then net profit of 800. Then we are told that the following additional information is relevant. A building to, to be bought on first March, in first March year one for how much? 400,000 Ghana cities has been granted full year depreciation at a rate of 20% and same has been added to what? Projected cost above. So let's calculate the tax liability under the two scenarios. So X, Y, let me tell, let me clean my line in the middle and have a bigger slot there. So computation of projected tax payable for the year of assessment year what? one. Two uh, things, so we're going to be bringing them down. Kumase on one side, and then Konongo on the other side. Konongo on the other side. Konongo on the other side. So what do we start with? As always, we're going to start with the net profit. So what's the net profit respectively? Okay, it's the same figure. 800,000. 800,000. Then what do we do? Remember we are told that depreciation of 20% has been charged and has been included in what? Expenses. So what do we do? We must add it back. So you add back depreciation, which is 20% of 400,000 dollars in this. And that's what? 80,000. 80,000. What else do we have about the question? That's all right. So we subtract it and we get a chargeable income. 
not chargeable income because we've not brought uh, capital allowance yet, right? So we can decide not to put any name there, but let's get the net balance there. How much? 720, all right? Yeah. So let's bring capital allowance. What facility are we looking at here? Class four. Class four. And it's a building. Yeah. And so that's 10%. So 10% of the 400,000. That's 40,000. So that's deductible, respectively. So they will not tell us, but we have to do all of this. Yes, ma'am. You got it? So let's go. Chargeable income. Six. Six hundred and eighty thousand. Six hundred and eighty thousand. So once we've done this, what do we do? We bring the tax, isn't it? So what is the tax? This guy is eighteen point seven five percent, and this guy is twelve point five outside regional capital. So what will be the tax charge? <laughs> so we need money. One two seven five hundred. What? What? I. One two. One two seven. No, Kumasi. One two seven. Five hundred. Eight five thousand. Ah, did you subtract this guy? No, we added. Oh no. Please, we are sorry for the inconvenience. Please clean and please make sure you also know that we are. <laughs> <laughs> eight, eight. <laughs> so, eight eighty. Eight eighty. And that gives us eight forty. Eight forty. Eight forty. Mm -hmm. Tax charge. One hundred and fifty-seven five hundred. Mm -hmm. One hundred and five thousand. Be like this. Yes, please. Okay, so this is the I aspect of the question. It says compute the projected tax payable on the above. Any FS aspect, you know. I don't see end. State where it's likely to work, side the entity, and why? In the question, I have three things in one. So from these two things, where do you think the company may, should go and invest as a tax uh, consultant? Of course, the company will go to Conongo. Conongo, why? Because it has the lower, the lower tax rate. Now, if the company, why do you, should they go there? If they go there, they will be having a tax savings of how much? The difference of this minus so this. we have to talk about that. Yes. Because you are giving them an advice. That's critical. So can I go on further to tell them that the examiner that, but if it had been the government deciding to go for Kumasi, and the government decided to go for Kumasi. If it has been what? It was the government to decide for the company, the government to tell them to go to Yes. But if the company is going, they will go for Konongo because that place has what? The lowest tax rate. So all that performance. Yes. Then the B aspect is say I I it says what other two factors apart from what has been identified in A above may indicate the sighting of the location of the factory. What other factors? Apart from looking at the tax, what other factors do we consider? Proximity to raw material. To raw material. Proximity, to raw material. Proximity to labor. I get in it. Proximity to market. Sometimes maybe a factor that we need to what? Consider. Then proximity to power supply. Mm -hmm. So they said two, but I've given you four. That's so right. these are the things you have to understand about this question. So you answer this and you state which they go for and you further explain because there are three things in one. Three things in one. Then you put 
<laughs> so when you're a straightforward, simple thing, they know you should be able to know it. Can I roll? What is the C? Ghana GRI. Ghana GRI. Okay. We've been a kind of house. I've been a one Ghana GRI. GRI is a bunch of serious tax reform. So, Nibble is actually the tax revenue we have today. Okay. As part of the reforms, it has been said that GRI should pursue voluntary tax compliance if it really wants to meet its revenue. Okay. Pay citizens or taxpayers who will not really pay. Comment the fact that that are necessary to ensure voluntary tax compliance. One, simplify tax laws. So, so it must be simple to understand. Simplify tax procedures so that people will be able to go through it. Yeah, I'll be explaining because we have to write something short. Okay. Three months, we write something. You don't just list them down, you have to explain it. I get it. So finish and then let's go there. Yes, please. And they are open. Yeah, we see in Jersey. And they And they are So see aspect of the question. Ghana Revenue Authority has embarked blah 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 required. Recommend three factors that are necessary to ensure voluntary tax compliance. So, I'm going to give you a one-liner definition on them. One, simple tax laws. Simple tax laws. When the laws are simple, it allows for compliance. When the laws are simple, it allows for compliance. As taxpayers are able to interpret it well. As taxpayers are able to interpret it well. As taxpayers are able to interpret it well. Two, simplified procedures. Simplified procedures. Simplified procedures. Procedures to be followed to pay tax should be simplified. Procedures to be followed to pay tax should be simplified. Procedures to be followed to pay tax should be simplified. To ensure that taxpayers spend less time to complete them. To ensure that taxpayers spend less time to complete them to ensure that taxpayers spend less time to complete them. Three, tax amnesty. I hope you know tax amnesty. What is it about? I really don't think that. Or not being charged penalty for non-payment of tax, so you can come and pay the tax. Are you getting the idea? So like you are owing, uh, but we the law requires that we should have charged you interest on it, but we leave the amnesty, so you pay what you owe, okay? Because here we'll pay the penalty. So I buy the unfound, sir. Where taxpayers are allowed not to pay interest and penalties on, when taxpayers are allowed not to pay interest and penalty, not to pay interest and penalty on non-disclosure of income, on non-disclosure of income, and in some cases taxes are forgiven, and in some cases taxes are forgiven. It allows for tax compliance. It allows for tax compliance. 
it allows for tax compliance. Next one, penalty and sanctions. Penalty and sanctions. Penalty should be imposed with severe sanction to ensure compliance. Penalty should be imposed with severe sanction to ensure compliance. Penalty should be imposed with severe sanctions to ensure compliance. So if we say willingly, come and file your tax returns, and you don't come and file your tax returns, there has to be some what? Sanctions. Shall we talk about the sanctions? When you say sanctions, when it's sanctions, it's going to be useful. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, penalty. So, so this one is like you don't come and pay, so we will charge you interest on it, or sometimes it could lead to a legal action and may lead to some jail issue in that place. But all could be in financial terms because they can say go to jail for six months or pay six months. or pay two thousand five hundred cities. Then I'll pay to government. What if you don't have? Hey, you should you give me some more time. I'll Where? It. <laughs> People go to jail for three months for no payment of thousand cities, uh, thousand five cities. Then that is their end. Though. They can't rise up in anything. Why? I don't hold any serious position. Though. What is the serious position about? Success in life is not about the position you hold. It's about what you do with your life. People have gone to jail outside but they are now billionaires and billionaires. Outside, I can't even a story. And then uh, my brother was saying when someone mentioned that when you go there, people don't really commit a lot of crime. So only few people commit a crime. So there was one man there he he abused this nine year old daughter son. Then she got an infection, they realized they jailed him. Every month they give him an allowance and please him. You know, he has his own television, everything. Then aside that they gave him a bicycle. Uh, and he bought the bicycle with this allowance. So every month he has one day to come and visit him. Is that a deal? Yeah, it's a deal, but it's a developed country, so they give you that comfort. Because the fact that you are in jail does not mean you are you are not you don't have a right. To exercise it in this. So you can plead with the government that, okay, yeah, I'm going to go to jail, but please, can you allow me that once every month I can go and visit my family? The judge can say yes. And so the uh, prison service will ensure that you come and visit them. Or you can, you can come, come your wife, food, your wife should come and visit you, you have sex with your wife. If the judge agrees, and it will and If the judge agrees, it will be given. So but so would you possess every and they are just no food. What he did is he was asking me. Just so wait. So what we I'm going to present in there? Can I tell the judge I want to go to that place? <laughs> what to be that? I hope it will be my answer. So penalty should be imposed with severe sanction to ensure compliance. Last one, provision of taxpayer service. Provision of taxpayer service. Provision of taxpayer service. Services in the form of tax education, services in the form of tax education, provision of assistance to help in filing, to help in filing shall be helpful in the voluntary tax compliance. Services in the form of tax education. Provision of assistance to help in filing shall be helpful in the voluntary tax system. Shall be helpful in the voluntary tax system. So that is also about that. That is also about that. Now Ghana is moving from the provisional to the voluntary tax and there are advantages and disadvantages of all of those things in relation. What's wrong with your eye? Last question, D. 
Under what condition should research and expenditure be capitalized? Research and development expenditure be capitalized. Yes. Under what circumstance? Same one in uh, FRA. <laughs> QQR. QQR. Now, development expenditure could be written off. I get in it. However, when it is capitalized, then what? Capital allowance must be what? Granted in respect of that. So research and development expenditure should be expensed. Research and expenditure should be expensed. Even if it is of a capital nature. Even if it is of a capital nature. Even if it is of a capital nature. However, when R&D expenditure is added to the cost of an asset, however, when R&D expenditure is added to the cost of an asset, it should be capitalized and capital allowance granted. It should be capitalized and capital allowance granted. However, when R&D expenditure is added to the to the cost of an asset, it should be capitalized and capital allowance granted. It should be capitalized and capital allowance granted. It should be capitalized and capital allowance granted. Right, so that is it about that question. And that's the question one for what we are looking at. So let's go to question two. Question two is about mining operation. And let's see how we go about that. 